Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. As you can see, we are in a completely new environment. What is going on? Yes guys, I just moved, okay? Once again, oh my gosh, it's only been just a few days. Good news about this new place is that there's so much natural light, which I love so much. So this is like, ugh. It's my dream, you know? If you guys wanna see some sort of apartment tour or something like that once I get everything organized and furnished, let me know and I may do one on my vlog channel. Anyways, today's video, I am going to be showing you guys three different 10 minute recipes for those very busy days. We're gonna also keep these recipes healthy as well and of course 100% vegan. Even if you're busy, even if you don't have that much time on your hands, you can still make yourself a healthy plant-based meal. So I hope you can take something out of this video. Before we get on with the recipes, today's video is very kindly sponsored by Skillshare. And if you did not know, Skillshare is an online learning community for creators or for anyone that wants to learn a new skill and brush up on something. It's a great place to find courses on photography, videography, social media, productivity, and so many other topics. The courses are really straightforward, very to the point, and very specific, which I love. Today, for example, I took a course on productivity. I just finished it today. The course was a productivity course on time theming, which allows me to basically structure my week so that I get more done in the week by kind of making sure that each day of the week has a specific purpose. So if you guys are looking to learn something new or you just want to check out what courses Skillshare has to offer, check out the link down below guys. And the first 400 people to click that link down below will get two months of Skillshare absolutely free. So usually premium membership costs $10 a month, but for the first 400 people to click that link, you will get two months of Skillshare free. It's a great way for you to try out different courses and see if you like the platform. So check out the link down below guys and get that two months of Skillshare for free. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get on with the 10 minute recipes. Let's make a super easy beans on toast. This is a great breakfast idea. First, I'm going to dice a quarter of an onion. I decided to use pinto beans because that's what I had on hand and I think they do make a great beans on toast. Then I'm going to chop some tomatoes as well. And on a non-stick frying pan, I'm just spraying on a little bit of oil and then I'm just going to add the onions and tomato. So let's just cook that up a little bit. And then we can just add in the beans. These are already cooked, so definitely use canned or already cooked beans because that way you can make these super quickly. For spices, I am using cumin, smoked paprika, and garlic salt. If you want, you can just use garlic powder and then just add salt to taste. As always, you can give it a little taste and see if you like the flavors. I wanted mine just a little bit sweeter, so I added a tiny bit of maple syrup. And for my toast, I'm actually just using English muffin instead of regular toast because I just really like English muffins and I think it looks pretty. Yay! Now you can serve it like this, but I decided to add a little bit of hot sauce, so I'm adding some sriracha. And I'm also adding a little bit of avocado because why not, guys? Why not? It also makes it look really pretty. You can crack some pepper on there, also add a little bit extra salt if you would like, and there is your super easy homemade beans on toast. Next, we're going to be making some guacaroni salad with chickpeas, yay! So first, we're gonna cook up some macaroni according to instructions on the box. While that macaroni is cooking, we're going to make a chickpea avocado mash. So first, I'm going to mash up the chickpeas with a fork, and then we're going to add in some ripe avocado, and then we're just going to mix that together. This part is optional if you don't mind having a little stanky breath. I'm going to add some diced onion into the mixture, and then let's squeeze some lemon juice in there as well. Now I'm going to add in some garlic salt. Once again, you can use garlic powder and add some salt on top of that if you'd like. And once the macaroni is cooked, I like to drain it and rinse it under cold water so that it's cold. And then I'm going to add in that guacamole chickpea mixture. 
And for some color and some extra veggies, we're going to add in some pepper. I'm just adding an orange bell pepper that I chopped. You could also add in some chopped tomatoes or cherry tomatoes. Those would be really, really good. And also some cilantro. That would be nice too. Oh my gosh, so good. I'm going to plate my salad and top mine with a little bit of nutritional yeast and also some pepper. And there you have it guys, there is your chickpea guacaroni salad. I make this chickpea avocado mash thing quite often and put it on top of toast. It's so good, but this time I decided to put it with some macaroni. And if you're feeling extra lazy, you don't even have to mash the chickpeas. You could just make the guacamole and then just add in whole chickpeas. That would be great too. Anyways, I hope you try this out. It's super good. Next, we're going to make one of my favorite types of noodles. These are soba noodles, aka buckwheat noodles. These are, I think, supposed to be quite healthy. <laughs> I think so. Every time I want some kind of healthy noodle, I choose buckwheat noodles, guys. So we're going to throw these buckwheat noodles in some boiling water, just following the instructions on the packaging. While that's cooking, we're going to chop our vegetables. We're going to use some of that bell pepper that we had left over from the guacaroni, yes. I'm also chopping up some carrots. I'm trying to chop them vertically so that they're thin and long. If you really don't want to chop veggies or if you just want to save some time, you can actually chop your veggies using a food processor or a vegetable chopper. So that's an option for you as well. Now let's make the very simple sauce. We're going to add a soy sauce or a soy sauce equivalent into a small bowl. We're also going to add in some apple cider vinegar. You can also use rice vinegar if you would like instead. I'm also adding some ground ginger, some garlic powder, and some toasted sesame oil. Once the noodles are finished, you can drain them and also rinse them in cold water so that we have cold soba noodles. I'm adding in some frozen edamame beans that I microwaved and rinsed in cold water. And then we can just add in our vegetables, so I'm adding in the peppers and carrots and adding in our sauce and let's mix it together. And for the final touch, I'm topping everything up with toasted sesame seeds. You could also add in some chopped green onion and there you have a super easy cold soba noodle salad with some edamame beans. This is such a great meal guys. It's super delicious, so satisfying and really healthy. recipes super duper easy i know right they're all so delicious in fact i just ate those soba noodles okay it's like not even 11 a.m i was not supposed to eat lunch but i couldn't help myself you know what i mean let me know what your thoughts were of these recipes in the comment section down below if you ever try these recipes out or any of my other recipes don't forget to take a picture and tag me on instagram at cheap lazy vegan hashtag cheap lazy vegan and once again i would like to thank skillshare for sponsoring today's video don't forget if you are one of the first 400 people to click the link down below you will get two months of skillshare absolutely free okay so don't forget to do that and learn a new skill guys it is important to keep learning, you know. If you guys are new to this channel, of course, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.